Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here. Today we're going to focus on the Subaru SVX and we're going to redesign it completely from scratch. We're not going to be using any underlay of the old 90s model. We're going to start with a clean canvas, gray canvas, doodle some lines on there, put some airbrush on and see what comes out. Someone tagged me in a comment on Instagram about the SVX. I didn't really know much about it. I've seen Dog the Muro's review. All I knew about the car was from that review. And since it won't stop raining and thundering, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty much dark out and it's in the middle of the day. Uh, Jules, our dog, is not happy with that. Dogs and thunder does not go well together. Cats and thunder, they don't give a crap. <laughs> oh, Rosie, always perfect timing. All right, so now let's get into the design brief and I'm gonna show you exactly what key lines and key design features we're going to take with us into the new design. All right, so this is the 1992 Subaru SVX. And let's see what kind of uh, design features we have that we can take into a modern version of this. Uh, the thing that sticks out to me and probably to most people when they see this car is this part right here. L let me show you what I'm talking about. This part, we don't have this in modern cars right now unless it's like a Le Mans GT car have these kind of windows where it doesn't roll down all the way so it's kind of a window within a window like that and that's kind of one of the fe uh, key features you can see right here you can see it better up here and maybe we can add that to the new design but i'm not really excited about that feature so i'm not sure if we're gonna keep it or if we're going to just scratch it and create something new but it looks like it's kind of a two-tone color to this car and it's very horizontal at the back and it also has this light bar as you can see here so the you know light bars were kind of uh kind of popular in the mid 90s early 90s mid 90s and then they disappeared and now 2017 18 19 20 it every, it's just flooded with light bars everywhere all companies just have at least one car with a light laser bar at the rear, which I think is cool. It kind of looks all right, but I think it's just a trend that's not gonna be around for too long. Since we're doing this for 2020 or 2019, I think we're going to have a light bar in, in the car as well. Thinking about newer Subaru designs, they do have some very strong fenders. Uh, the, the fenders are very uh, distinct and this, you know, separate from the rest of the body graphically and it also has especially if you look at the impress sdi they do have some creases going like this so that's something that i want to keep or add to the new design that we're going to do today so something like this where we have some definition very defined well-defined fenders like this at the rear uh, might not keep a spoiler on top but we are going to have an integrated spoiler that goes something like that. And that's just because I don't like to have uh, a separate spoiler unless it is, for example, a Porsche GT2 or something like that, which really needs a spoiler to be in the correct, to be a GT2, it kind of needs to have a spoiler. But if you're just doing an SVX, I don't think we're gonna need a separate spoiler. So we're gonna integrate it in the body instead. And that's a massive thunder, I'm sure you could hear that. And other than that, we're just gonna play around with the proportions and the shape of this. Try to figure out the exhaust and the diffuser that we want to have back here, what kind of shape we want that to be. But we're going to keep the general proportions of the SVX. So what we're going to do now is clean this sheet of paper, or this digital sheet of paper, add some gray, start with some black blobs, black lines and see what we want this car to look like. Before we jump into any rendering of any sort, we want to have an idea in our head of kind of what the lines are going to be. So then we can separate all the, separate all the parts and render them specifically uh, individually as we move along. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. All right, so starting out here in Photoshop, I always wanna start with a gray background. And the reason for that is that allows me to use both black and white to figure out the shading. So if I have a white background, I can't really use white. Uh, I can't use a white airbrush to 
visualize a highlight because the background is already white. So that's the reason why I'm using a, a gray background. It really helps to define the shapes early on. And when you block them out like this, it makes it a lot easier to do that. So what we're doing right here is trying to figure out what this SVX 2020 SVX or 2019 20, uh, <laughs> SVX is actually going to look like. We want the key features down before we jump into any kind of details of the car. So what I mentioned in the brief, for example, I want to have some uh, well-defined uh, fenders, both rear, uh, both back and front, because that's to me, that to me is, it has a lot to do with Subaru right now, especially if you look at the Impreza SDI. It has that very well-defined front fender. I, I think it even has a some sort of air outlet right behind the front wheels as well. So if this is going to be a sports car, an SVX, it has to have some well-defined fenders. So that's the first thing I wanted to add. I was thinking of having the fenders be a different material from the rest of the car. So maybe have it be polished instead of uh, glossy or matte or something like that. And that's what I was experimenting right with right here. And obviously we need to add a um, uh, side mirror, otherwise the comments are gonna be all about where is the side mirror? How is he supposed to be looking back the dead angle and stuff like that? So, of course, we add a side mirror right there. Even though, to me, that would be a camera and not a mirror, because this is a concept car of today and we don't use mirrors anymore. There are cameras everywhere. There's like 20 cameras on a concept car today. Anyway, we're moving ahead with the rear. I did have some issues with the rear. I was not happy with the rear at all. And I got frustrated. I took a coffee break. I came back <laughs> and everything seemed to slowly start to fall into place when I added this diffuser, which you can see right here. I was just ex experimenting with graphics and what I wanted the rear to uh, kind of visualize. Is it supposed to be a sports car or more of a GT car? what do I want this car to be? And that's kind of what you have to figure out before you jump into creating some crazy chamfers and edges on all of this, uh, the, the big surface, which is the rear. And I hadn't figured that out yet. But once I figured out I wanted to be a sports car more than a GT car, then everything started to fall into place. Well, another thing that's kind of trendy today is this F1 style uh, I think it's a fog light in the middle, in the center middle, in between the um, the exhausts. That's kind of that's kind of a thing. I think Nissan has it. Uh, Subaru probably has it on a few models. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Uh, but why not add that to this car as well? It, it looks very cool, and it's just you know a a hint of the. It just adds to the sportiness on on a uh, on another level. We can just add. If we have details that we know is supposed to be on a sports car uh, and that kind of fits the overall design of this car, why not add it to the design? So I decided to add that as well and put in a few LEDs just like this to have it to, to make it to, to make it functional so that it actually lights up with something inside of there. So right now the basic shape of this car is actually done and uh, all that's left now is to complete this and add all the details, add the, the section lines, the chamfers, the cut lines and all of that. And I know that the SVX, the original one, has this weird thing that goes at the bottom corner of the window. So I was thinking to add that black part up there, as you can see, in the bottom window corner and uh, have the logo or whatever it says, SVX or something like that. That, that would be the spot for the uh, the model name of the car and also since we have a light source we need to think about all the different parts that go in the light source so we need to add for example the uh, shading there to the rear light of the car and i didn't know if i wanted to colorize this or not uh, that's totally up to you i sh i will show you both versions so one blue and one just black and white and you can decide for yourself which one you prefer the most and that's about it. That's the redesign of the Subaru SVX for the 2020 model. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it, especially now when I can't go to the beach because it's been raining for, <laughs> for a week straight. I mean, not just raining, it's been pouring down for a week straight, so we can't really go to the beach. We're planning on going today, but instead, 
I decided to make this video for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to hit the like button. That really means a lot to me. Take it easy, guys. I will see you next time.